Oh, celebrating 35 years, everybody. Kurt Bester, Christmas is back. He's entertaining Utah audiences all over the state. When I say 35 years, we just talked about aging. By the way, the gray is looking great on you. I'm, I'm, this, I'm coming out great. This is, I haven't had gray this for is, a while. I haven't seen this. Do this you is a, feel 35 years of this show? Um, I barely feel 35 years, but um, <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I, I, when I think about 35 years, it's like, oh my gosh, that is a, a long time. I know you're celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday. But, but <laughs> thank you. Do, but you were a little girl when I started. And you were a little girl when I started doing my concert. So it, that's weird. And this seems like a long time, but it's gone by so fast. This is what started it all. So I'm so glad you brought this. Yeah, that's that is the Eris Christmas right here. That mm -hmm. was the first album I did. And I did the album. And then my the producer of the album said, hey, you got to do a concert. So what can I just release the CD? So this is the artwork. This is the CD. Everything that came out 35 yeah, years ago. Yeah, we put a little wrap around it to make it look special. Okay. But but it hasn't been available for 20 years. So but back then they said do a concert. I said oh where do I? So we booked a Bravanel Hall in a moment of ego, and uh, I didn't have that many friends. I, how are we going to fill that up? So we created this mystique. We called radio stations, disguised our voice, told friends, and we got them. We didn't fill it, but we got enough people to say, well let's do it again. And then again, and then five years in, it's like, wow, we, are we a tradition yet? Not quite, but 10 years, we celebrated 10, then we celebrated 20. I remember coming here celebrating 20, and then 30, and now it's 35. <laughs> well, it is tradition, and how do you feel about being the unofficial, official king of Christmas of Utah? Well, I don't like saying I'm the king of Christmas. That sounds like, I, I, sh I can, because there's a couple of people in front of me, a guy born 2,000 years ago, and then Santa Claus. I'll take third position. I thought you were going yeah. to say Mariah Carey. <laughs> oh, well, she, she tried Stewart. to trademark it, <laughs> yeah. it didn't no. work. I, I love that people say that. They say King of Christmas or Mr. Christmas, um, and it's nice. I can think of a lot worse things to be associated with. So Christmas. how do you change up your shows year after year to keep it interesting for audiences, but also for you up there performing? Yeah, you know, people want to hear the old stuff, but um, so I do the hits. Um, <clears throat> here's This is a bit what the show looks like, and I surround myself with great musicians. But I also do uh, th about 30% new arrangements every year. So I'm writing, this year I'm doing a Ukrainian Christmas, which is a brand new arrangement of Carol the Bells and a song, Christmas song from the Ukraine. And I'm paying homage to the people there. And then I'm also, I've been, I have a very special guest, uh, Lisa Hopkins Sigmiller, who's gonna join me in Salt Lake. And I've arranged Ave Maria for her. I wonder, I say wander for her, new arrangements. And uh, so I about 30% new, and then the rest are the hits that people expect. It's so impressive, the instruments that you bring together and the instruments recently that you showed us, your bag of tricks. Last time I was here, I brought in all my, my instruments. And I guess I'm, I'm more of a composer. I don't consider myself a piano player, even though the next segment I'll bring my piano out and we'll play a little something. But I consider myself a composer and I write music. So you'll hear my voice played by the oboe or by my singer. So when you come to my show, it's, that's my voice. When did you know you had this gift? Oh, I don't know if I've ever felt like I have a gift, but I knew that I was going to do what I did. I, I got a lot of attention in junior high, uh, especially from the girls, as a piano player. <laughs> That's kind of cheesy mm -hmm. that that was important to me, but, um, you know, I'm a guy, you know, so we just want to please you guys. Did your mom make you play, or did you want to play? Interesting you should bring that up. My mom, who's going to be here on the, the Daily Dish later, yes. cooking with me, um, she, she actually did get me involved. And in fact, in the next segment, I will show you how my mom got me to practice piano. Teacher at Orem High School for years and years. Yeah, yeah. Everybody loved your mom. She was amazing. And I, I, you know, she's 91 years old. She still plays the piano. Um, I love to send her songs that I arrange and she'll sit down at the piano and, and learn them. Um, when I have one, I, want to, I say, Mom, what do you think about this? And she's got a great mind. Uh, she's amazing. So don't worry about your birthday. She's 91. <laughs> and still making what in our kitchen today on Daily well, Dish? Today we're making a German snowball cookies. Cannot wait. Yeah. All right, when you are on stage, how, like, do you feel the magic? How, how magical is it? You know, Surya, when I, when I, I'm nervous, like now, I'm really super nervous as I prepare, but when I get on the stage, the very first time I walk out, it's just like, oh, I'm home. And all the people that are in the audience are kind of like family. Uh, there have been some people that have come to all 35 years. There's one family in particular. They come every year, and I've seen their kids grow up. They bring me an ornament every year. I can tell you why, because this isn't just you doing a show and the audience watching. Right. You transcend the boundary. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, you're talking the entire time to the audience. Well, I don't talk the entire time, but no, you're right, though. I, I, I like to talk between songs, and, and I joke around with the audience. I remember one time the phone rang in the front row, and I picked up somebody's cell phone, and I said, Hello, Kurt Besser concert. <laughs> What, your house is on fire? Your mom and dad will be home in about two hours. You know, and I joke <laughs> like It's the connection. Yeah, yeah. you know it is. Well, and it's like, you guys know that. You have to look at a camera, but you're talking to the people through the camera. Same thing with me. When is the it. show, and when can people see you, Kurt? Well, the show actually starts, my very first show was in St. George at the Cayenta Center for the Arts. This, this week. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I'm real excited about that one. The big show, obviously, is at the Eccles Theater, the 15th, 16th, 17th. Two shows on the 17th, a matinee, which is a perfect show to go to. And I guess, there you go, live at theeccles.com will we'll get you to the plate. Don't Google my name or you'll get scalper tickets. Oh, don't do that. In fact, that's a public service announcement. Do not Google your favorite artist's name to get tickets. Go to where they're performing. Otherwise, the first five slots are all people. You'll pay four times the ticket. Kurt's like... I mean, this it's is... It's because I love you. Right. And you're like Taylor Swift. Like, get them now or they'll be gone. Yes, I'm exactly like get Taylor them now. Swift. BC4.com <laughs> slash GTU, everybody, for all of that ticket information. We'll put a link. And Kurt is not done. He's back in our next mm -hmm. hour playing music for us and then cooking with his mom at 1230. Thank you for hanging out. Absolutely. Dina, what's coming up next? A man of many talents. Singing, baking, all the things.